What's up guys? I ordered two catch cans for both my 240s. DNAMotorsports.com They're 15 bucks each. Here's just one box I already opened the other. It's already downstairs. One box. I'm going to open it up for you. This is the first time opening it up. It comes with uh, some hose clamps. A little some hose clamps, little brackets to mount it to the can, to the car. Uh, and some little hardware, some little cap wheel for it. But yeah, I'll show you more in a little bit. But here's the actual catch can. I ordered black. And what I like about it, I already know from the other one I already opened, but it's got sparkles in it. I don't know if you can tell, like the flakes, but my whole KA engine bay is all flaked out. So that's going to match. And then it comes with, I'm going to, I'm going to guess it's probably three foot of this blue hose. It's fairly small. My pinky can't fit into it. My pinky can't fit into it. So, yeah. Alright. Okay, here's all the little hardware stuff. Now you can see right there the hose clamps. Here's a little hardware. I take them out each bracket to itself. Here's some like weird cap thing it came with. It's hollow on this end. And then it's capped on this end. That's all that is. But that, and then catch can and the hose and the way I'm going to mount the can right here on the 240 I'm going to mount it right here right next to the windshield wiper motor fits it should clear the hood and everything but that's just it sitting there but then going to run the hose back here and then right here to the valve cover on the 1JZ so I need a 90 for that because this hose is so small it goes right in there and I was gonna make a 90 and just have it like that so it can just follow straight back from the valve on the valve cover and tuck behind everything I'm gonna end up not in this video but I'm gonna move my gas lines too all right what I did I ended up pulling this metal thing the other side out and then I jammed it inside of the valve cover and then hose clamped the hose on there and then now and take the bracket and then there's a spot two bolts right there bolt holes I'm just gonna or one's threaded one's not so I'm only gonna use one I'm gonna put the bracket in here and then mount the catch can onto this bracket with its other mounted on this other bracket which it got the slight curve to it to mount to the can so I'm gonna do that right now All right, here I am on the KA. KA, but I uh, put the catch can in the same exact spot as I did on the JZ. I only used one bolt though, just like the JZ though. And then just a little air filter, I ran it back uh, behind my brake booster line right there. And then underneath my injector, injector rail, and then right up to this. <coughs> and on the, on the factory KA, this comes into your intake manifold, but all you got to do is grab it. All you got to do is grab it and twist it because it threads into your valve cover. So if you got a KA, you can do. All you got to do is uh, undo that. And what I did the same exact thing I did on the JZ. That metal cap deal or whatever. It got a hole drilled through it. I don't know what it is exactly, but I wrapped electrical tape around the inside of it and then I tapped it in with a hammer. So you can't get that thing out. It's in there sturdy, but. These hoses fit on there real tight too, so I'm not even going to use a hose clamp on that one. I did on the Jay-Z because the Jay-Z I had to make a 90 with the hose, so to just keep it from popping off and landing on my exhaust, I did it that way. So, uh, yeah, 
I don't know if you guys see my new valve cover. Uh, it's not really too shiny or sunny out right now, so but normally it'll sparkle in the sunlight just like the rest of uh, my engine bay. And then I sparkled my uh, strut tower bar. So hopefully here soon, KA will be up and running. I haven't really messed with it a whole lot. It runs, but I haven't. It was running rich last time I messed with it, so I gotta mess with it a little bit more to get it running right. But yeah, there you go, the DNA catch can. I got them for 15 bucks each, so 30 bucks a pair.